Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Philip here for another video log. Uh, today I spent most of my afternoon trying to figure out how to remove the damn hum from my speakers. I've been having this hum since the first time I set it up. I, I did know that it was because of the computer or probably the graphics card itself that whenever it does some extra work you start hearing more noise humming coming from the 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 speakers and i had done some tests in the past to isolate them from the same power socket and it confirmed my 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 thing so if they were connected to another outlet uh, somewhere else from from another part of the of the house uh, i would no longer have those hums um so it's electrical interference and I was trying to find cheap ways to uh, remove that. I tried to get a special uh, power cord extension thing. I bought this thing, it arrived today, so I was doing a few more tests today. This didn't solve my problem. This is the BF30000 uh, Deutsche Technology by Resen Stool. And it has some checks against power surges and stuff like that. And on the description, it said that it also filtered noise, but it didn't. It didn't do it for me. I tried different combinations of this, and it didn't really work out very well. So I went back to digging uh, the way that I could remove this. And uh, there are a few things I'm going to show you quickly. Some uh, web pages of things that I found. So. Um, the first thing that I found was that you could try to remove it from the sound itself uh, on the RCA. Get something that's called a ground loop isolator. And I did have one of them uh, lying around that was given to me by uh, a work colleague years ago. Uh, and I never used it. The problem is that my speakers are one on the left and one on the right. And the ground loop isolator is a box like this big, the one that I have. So I ended up having to use an RCA cable just to reach from the left to the right speaker so that was a bit uh silly but that's the solution that i ended up with anyways you can get these things and they're not that pricey to get let's see if i can get the amazon link uh yeah so around eight eighty euros something like that eight nine euros maybe 12 um so I was considering getting them, but then I ended up using the an RCA cable. Um, these are handy to have if you are like uh, going on the road and taking your laptop and doing live sets and stuff like that. You should always have one of these to make sure that whenever you are connecting to the mixing desk, your sound is always uh, ground ground loop isolated, uh, so you avoid these kind of humps. Uh, you can also try to remove it uh, by directly on the power supply not having anything there are these filters ifcac i purifier uh that should work uh not quite sure how it works exactly because i only see one input but apparently it, it should work uh, one of the more uh, resilient things that i found was this one the isotech uh, Isotech is a company, they have several products, and I saw these being demonstrated on a few YouTube videos, and they really do work, like they isolate uh, noise uh, sources from the outside and also from within the, the different outlets. So if you have a computer that is noisy on one of these sockets and you use your PA system on the other sockets, they don't get noise in between them, so that's really good. The problem is that there are like 700 euros for one of these things. And uh, there are a few different models, uh, but overall, I didn't want to spend 700 euros to not have noise. Um, ended up using the the patchwork solution that I mentioned of having the, the ground loop isolator that I had lying around and have an extra RCA cable. I'm not sure in terms of if it gives me extra uh, delay, probably has a few. If, it, if I'm losing some... Uh, decibels in terms of audio quality i haven't done any checks in that regard i believe the electricity solution would have been better than putting uh, something in between the audio signal but i don't know if you can't hear the difference i guess it's okay um so yeah i wanted to do a quick video just to talk about what i've been doing all day figuring out how to set up your system properly after after many i think i've been using this system with noise for like over a year i always ended up using headphones whenever i needed to have the the 
graphics card going full on. Like, so any video games that pulls anything from graphics card, I would need to use headphones or put the music loud enough so that the hum is almost unheard. Uh, but it's always there, so it's always annoying. Anyways, that's all I have uh, to talk to you about. If you know anything about these things and know of a better solution or what do you use or something like that, feel free to post some comments below. And uh, see you next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.